Empire Project 13. Everybody knows that lady. Yep, that's my wife, Mrs. MP13. This is a first. An unboxing on the freeway on the way home. We just left Best Buy. And I've really been going over and over in my mind on whether I was going to pick up this device or not. This is a mid-range device. I was going to go for the flagship, but I had to consider the funds that I have for the channel and what's coming out later on in the, in the summer going into fall. Um, I'm looking at bigger and better uh, devices, so I want to make sure I manage my money right. And after all of my own homework and what I thought would be best for the channel, I went for this device. Only because I had the first generation and it was a phenomenal device. The Sony Xperia XA Ultra. Now most of you know that I sold that device and I missed that device for many reasons. The second generation is the Sony Xperia XA1 Ultra. I am using the LG V20 to shoot this video, the multi-view window feature. It's what really sets the LG V20 apart from a lot of other devices. So the Sony Xperia XA1 Ultra has a 23 megapixel camera on the back, a 16 megapixel shooter on the front that has optical image stabilization, has a full 6 inch 1080p display, and if you remember on the Sony Xperia XA Ultra, that 1080p display was phenomenal. Or was that 720p? Regardless. I can't remember, it's been such a, such a while since I've had that device. It was a beautiful, beautiful display. And I actually got to play with this device in store at Best Buy for a little while. And it's a phenomenal display. So I already know that I'm going to love what I get from this $400 device when it comes to my media intake when watching movies or videos. Has USB Type-C. First generation didn't have that. Has the 2700 milliamp battery, which is the same that the Sony Xperia XA Ultra had. And it didn't do as well, but I was willing to sacrifice that due to the fact that everything else on the first gen was just fine. It was great. It was phenomenal. I shouldn't even say the word fine. It was, it was awesome. So from what I'm seeing, especially on Demir's channel, I was watching Demir do a review and he says that this generation is so well optimized that the battery life is that much, everything is just working together so much better that battery life is better than the first gen. So we'll see the MediaTek Helio P20, 32 gigs of internal storage that is expandable. You do have an SD card slot and it has four gigs of RAM. And I did get the black one. So I'm doing a lot of talking. So I'll show you the device now. Again, this is the first time for my Project 13 with my wife driving, me in the passenger seat on the freeway, doing an unboxing of the Sony Xperia XA1 Ultra. That is a beautiful, beautiful device. Look at that, gorgeous, gorgeous, just beautiful. You know, the thing is, I was thinking about the, the XC Premium, 800 smacks is a lot of money for me to keep the channel rolling just wasn't the best move for me and I talked to my wife about it and she helped me come up with that decision. So thank you honey, appreciate your help. Anything you want to say to the folks out there? She's concentrated on driving. So um, 400 smacks, is it going to be worth it? From what I'm seeing, what I'm reading, what I'm hearing, again, I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to use it to come up with my own judgment on that. But it's, it's nice to hear some feedback, and I'm getting a lot of great feedback about this device. I'm really stoked to use it. We're going to see what it does. It actually has a screen protector on it. Super sweet. Awesome. Got to get a case to take this puppy out and about. I'm going to turn it on. We'll get the first boot here. What do you think about the device, honey? Is it beautiful? It's too big. She says it's too big. 
too big. She still has her S7 Edge. I don't think she's ever going to part ways with that device. Ever. So there it is. There's the first boot. Sony Xperia XA1 Ultra. And, and I want to go back to big devices. I don't think I'll ever get sick and tired of big devices. When watching movies and videos on big devices, wow. Just, I don't need a TV. I don't need a TV. I just need this. So there you go. Let me, let me tell you how it feels in hand. Well, it has got a little bit of girth to it. Feels great. It's got those corners. They're not, the Sony Xperia XA Ultra was a little more rounded on the corners. This is a little bit sharper, but it feels really nice. So aesthetically, it's a beautiful looking uh, device. It feels really good. You can see the top right there, which has the, uh, you have a mic up top and a headphone jack area there. So super stoked about that. And down below your USB type C port and your speaker, one speaker. And I hear it's super, super loud and on front, you have your uh, camera and your flash. It's going to have a flash. It's going to have a flash on front. Totally digging that. Totally digging that. Optical image, stabiliz optical image stabilization. OIS on front as well. So, um, looking good. Just feels really nice. All metal. Edge to edge display. Look at that. Wow. On this side, you got the little flap where you'll put your SIM, uh, your nano SIM and your SD card. And on the other side, your power button and your volume rocker right there as well. So there you go. First impressions on how it feels great, how it looks awesome. And I'm just hoping to get the experience that I'm hearing that a lot of you out there are getting with this device. For 400 smacks, we're gonna see right here on my Project 13, if it lives up to what I'm hearing. Anyway, thanks everybody for checking out the channel. Peace. I'm out to my next video. Thanks for being a part. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't become a part of the team. God bless.